Let's talk about more poisonous plants because I think they're fun. So this is water hemlock and it is known as the most poisonous plant in North America. So it's like just a very inconspicuous looking plant. It's just like kind of there. It's just this little white plant. On its own, it wouldn't seem like that much of a problem. Like nobody's just seeing on this on the ground being like, yep, I want to eat that. But there are problems that arise when it gets confused with Queen Anne's lace. This is Queen Anne's lace and it looks very similar to water hemlock. However, this is actually edible. The flowers can be boiled to make tea, and the roots are pretty similar to just carrots. Most, or not most, but quite a few hemlock poisoning fuck off, occurrences happen when water hemlock, poisonous, is um, confused for Queen Anne's lace, edible. So people who are aware of Queen Anne's lace and the fact that it's edible but may not be aware of water hemlock and the fact that it looks um, very similar may see this plant and be like, oh sick, I know what that is, that's Queen Anne's lace, and take it home and eat it and then die. This is also called hemlock, but it is a type of coniferous tree, and as far as I'm aware, they are not poisonous, like they're, these aren't closely related to water hemlock at all beyond them both being plants and called hemlock, both of them. As far as I'm aware, the tree is not poisonous or toxic or anything, but don't quote me on that. Google didn't tell me anything like conclusive about that. So don't go around eating this anyway, don't eat unfamiliar plants, but as far as I know, the tree hemlock is not toxic. So anyways, water hemlock is this one, and it is poisonous. It also contains toxic alkaloids similar to the compounds found in oleander, and has pretty similar symptoms to oleander poisoning. It also causes problems with the nerves, and more specifically the nerves that go to your muscles, so your muscles stop working. However, instead of mostly the cardiac muscles being affected like in oleander, this one has a big effect on respiratory muscles. The main toxic alkaloid in these water hemlock plants is conine, which again affects the nervous system and causes symptoms such as tremors and shaking, um, difficulty breathing, respiratory failure, and may lead to death if not treated properly. It also works faster than- fuck off with your loud music, nobody gives a shit. Anyway, um, it works faster than the oleander plant with, um, it can be toxic anywhere between 20 minutes to 3 hours. Oleander takes a lot faster. Other symptoms include things like vomiting and nausea, just all, all over shaking and difficulty controlling movements, as well as potentially respiratory and kidney and or kidney failure, coma, and death. Unfortunately, depending on the situation, um, water hemlock can be treated relatively easily in the hospital if caught before the symptoms become too much of a problem, as well as if a small enough amount of this is eaten. Uh, also, um, it's not deadly just to touch, it has to be ingested in order for symptoms to show. Just touching it is not toxic, it won't. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't cause any like skin irritation or absorption of toxins through the skin. As far as I'm aware, it does have to be ingested in order to cause symptoms. So what is considered to be a toxic dose of water hemlock is 150 to 300 milligrams which, of conine, which is about um, 6 to 8 leaves of this plant. So yeah, if you see what you think is Queen Anne's Lace, you have to make absolutely 100% sure that it is in fact Queen Anne's Lace and not Water Hemlock before ingesting any part of that plant.